guys and welcome to the May 2020 Keto Crate Unboxing. That's literally all you need to know. Let's jump right into it. That is not all you need to know. Look, I don't even know what's in here yet, but if you like what's in here and you want $10 off your first Keto Crate, you can use the link in the description box below. Okay, now let's see what's in the Keto Crate. Okay, hopping right in. Oh my God, the first thing I see is fat snacks. You guys, I am loving all of these rebrandings. Like everything is just getting slicker and cooler and I am here for it. Okay, this is a Fat Snacks brownie. Okay, first of all, the package is teeny and the brownie inside is even smaller. I don't know if this is how they come or if this is just a sample, but this is tiny. Yeah, there's only one in here. It's 60 calories, five grams of fat, five total carbs, one fiber, four sugar alcohol. So there are essentially zero net carbs in here and one gram of protein. So, I mean, honestly, if you're counting total carbs or if you just want a snacklet of a snacklet, then this is going to work. Yeah, it says 0.3 net carbs. So, fewer than half net carbs. That's why they have it to zero. But, like, what am I going to do with one of these? But either way, love the packaging, and I can't wait to try this. Next, we have Love Good Fats. Oh, Chewy Nutty. This is a different texture than what I've seen from Love Good Fats before. It is just a bar. It is a coconut macadamia bar. I'm excited to try this. I've honestly tried some other Love Good Fat stuff before and have not liked the taste at all. But this bar looks completely different, so I'm excited to try that. Okay, so for one bar, it's 190 calories, 14 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, 11 fiber. So that's four net carbs and then five grams of protein. Here's hoping. Oh, next we have Good To Go. I love these Good To Go bars. They are just fluffy, pillowy, cakey, unlike anything that I've ever had from like a packaged good before. Like I am obsessed. This is the strawberry macadamia nut. That could play. Yeah, they call it a soft baked bar. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's like a muffin. I'm telling you right now. When me and my mom open this on Smash the Crate, she's gonna say, oh, this would go great with coffee. Like, but she's right though, this would go great with coffee. One bar is 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, 16 total carbs, seven fiber, five erythritol. That gets us to four net carbs and five grams of protein. I am looking forward to this. What I'm not looking forward to is a meat stick. This is Mission Meats. What is this, just a regular flavor? Yeah, like it's just not even flavored. It's just a regular meat stick. I am collecting these for the great meat stick away. Part duh, I want nothing to do with this. It is just a regular flavored meat stick. The nutritional information is not on here. It's on the website. I'm sure this has about zero or one grams of carbs in it. Mission Meat is good about that, but like, don't care. What I do care about, which I kind of saw out the corner of my eye, are these high key brownie bites. You guys, y'all don't even know how excited I am to try these. Like I've been seeing these all over high key's Instagram and I'm like, dang, do I want to order a box of six of these when I ain't even tried them? What if I don't like them though? But that's why the keto crate is so awesome because now I get to sample them and determine whether or not I want large quantities of these in my home. Spoiler alert, probably yes, but like I'm just so happy to get these and this branding is so dope. Like I am obsessed with high key. These are brownie bites. Oh, classic chocolate. They look like they have chocolate chips in there. Okay, there are two servings per container, but for one serving, which is about six pieces, is 140 calories, 12 grams of fat, 11 carbs, three fiber, and six erythritol. So that means there's only two grams of net carbs per serving and five grams of protein. Like for real guys, how does the branding do it? Like literally when I saw these on the interwebs, I had FOMO, I had fear of missing out, but that was like ah, 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 ah. FOMO no mo. You don't have to worry about missing out cause they right here. I am so excited. These might be the last thing we try. And if you know anything about Smash the Crate, I saved the best for last. Like I am so excited. <gasps> Oh my gosh, but no, these are also delicious. These Max Mellow, 
marshmallows you guys these are so good we had a version of these in a previous keto crate this is classic vanilla i think the other one we had was like sea salt caramel toasted caramel something these are just marshmallows and they're so delicious for two mallows there are 15 calories zero grams of fat five total carbs and two fiber and four sugar alcohol, that adds up to six. There's negative one net carbs in this and one gram of protein. No, you guys, yeah, like this is just all fiber. I honestly feel like this would wreak havoc on your blood sugar, but like maybe if you have this with like a super fatty hot chocolate or something, that's personally how I'm gonna enjoy them, but like I'm eating these. These are great treats. Like once again, this is what I love about the Keto Crate is it just gives you little tastes of things to add variety to your diet, but you don't have to have large quantities of them in your house. Like I'm so excited. Oh, what else do we have? We have Munchy Crunchy Protein Snacks Rock and Ranch. What are they, toasted whole beans? What are these though? Nut free, gluten free, four net carbs. What kind of bean is this though? It is a non-GMO soybean, non-GMO edamame, ranch seasoning. Okay, so these are just, yeah, crunchy soybeans and edamame. Okay. Oh, it says women owned. I am here for that. Hashtag girl power. Okay, for one package, it is 170 calories, 7 grams of fat, 11 total carbs, and 7 fiber. So four net carbs in this whole thing. That's okay. 16 grams of protein. Huh, that'll be interesting. I mean, I don't have an issue with nuts. That's what she said. Uh, like, you, you know, but I don't mind almonds and macadamias and pecans and things like that. So I don't know if I'm going out of my way to get soybeans, but like, I am excited to try these. Oh, Keto Farms, once again, another company that has changed their branding. What? I am obsessed. When I tell you I am obsessed, this is nacho cheddar crunchy cheese mix. Okay, guys, this just looks to be pecans, almonds, and like moon cheese lips. Plus, orange is my first favorite color, and like this is giving me everything. For this container, there are 170 calories, 16 grams of fat, four total carbs, two fiber, two net carbs. I love that. This is such a low total carb snack. I know Aaron over at High Fat High Fun is gonna be able to enjoy this. And seven grams of protein, like absolutely. I am 100% here for this. Oh my gosh, spicy dill flavored pork rind. You guys know I love anything with the word spicy on it. That's all you gotta do is just stamp the word spicy on it and I'm going to love it. This is Southern Recipe Small Batch. They make some pretty good snacks. These are just spicy dill pork rinds. I mean, that just sounds delicious. Okay, there are four servings per container. Yeah, this is a two ounce bag. Yeah, that's uh, pretty large there. For one serving, there is 70 calories, four and a half grams of fat, one gram of carbs. So that's four total carbs for this whole bag, which let's be honest, is probably how I would consume it. That is not bad at all. Eight grams of protein per serving. Oh my gosh. And then finally from Pure, we have some sugar-free bakeable chocolate chip cookie mix. I'm really excited about that. The last time from Pure, we got brownie mix and my mom and I didn't try them on our Smash the Crate, but I honestly think we're gonna whip these up and let you know how they are for this one coming up. Okay, so there are 16 servings per container and they say that each serving makes two cookies. So apparently you're supposed to be getting 32 cookies out of this thing. The only thing that you need is one egg and one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature. I'm actually really here for that because a lot of baked mixes just require you to have so many extra ingredients that I'm like, basically all I need is almond flour and then I have the mix. But like, I love that you only need one egg and one stick of unsalted butter. As prepared that way, if you have one serving, which is two cookies, it's eight grams of fat, 16 total carbs. God, that's a lot for two cookies, but that's okay. Seven of those are fiber and four of those are erythritol. So that means there's five net carbs per two cookies and one gram of protein. Yeah, it is five net carbs. I was looking to see if there was any allulose or anything in here, but nope, five net carbs. Overall, this Keto Crate is a winner. Love these, love this. Like just some things that I've been actively looking for, like that I've been actively wondering how they taste and then they just get delivered to my door though. Like I am so excited to try these. 
I'm excited to try all these little bars and snacks and even these little soybeans or whatever. Like, this is a good crate. Now you can use the link in the description box below to get $10 off your very first crate or you could simply comment on this video right here and me and my mom will be drawing a winner on our Smash the Crate video to win your very own free keto crate. But once again, don't worry if you don't win because you can use the link to get $10 off your first keto crate. Okay guys, comment down below what did you think of this crate? I am genuinely pleased. I mean, these brownie bites though. I am so excited. Have you had these new brownie bites? Let me know how they are. Have you had anything in this keto crate before? Like, let me know. I am so excited to give it all a try. Don't forget that when you comment, you'll be entered in a drawing to win your very own keto crate, or you can use the link in the description. I cannot wait to smash this stuff. I'll see you on next month's unboxing. Bye.